portfolios and things are all all these. All oh wow! Information about Thomas that I have to put together. So. You need an intern. It needs to be digitalized. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Press articles, just that, yeah. We're here with Marianne Loops. Hi, Marianne. Hi. You're an artist, too. <laughs> yes, I am. His signature is unmistakable. Call this painting what? World is three. World is three. Thomas Glover. And um, this is before my time. It was painted in 1983. So uh, Thomas moved in 1992 to St. Augustine, and I met him um, a little bit after that, and uh, we were just strictly friends for the longest time. And then Thomas and I didn't became uh, a couple until '98. He would take. Well, you were so, in the. You, were you in the band with each other? Were you in a? Well, we started dating each other in '98, and then we became. Uh, yeah, we. I started uh, playing with a band, a um, little after that, and we uh, played as a band until probably the day before he passed away, which was in 2012. I remember so. you as a bass player, but you also played guitar. Mm, and it ended up being a singer and uh, the singer, the vocalist and the Everything. guitar player in uh, the. Uh, roadie and the sound person and the advertiser. Oh, that's right. You you ran sound. You do all. I remember whatever that. it needs to be done. Yeah. So there it is. His favorite number, number three. Number three was a. Uh, what's important about three to him? Do you know? He had a. Um, he, Thomas was a very interesting uh, artist and an interesting person, and he had this psyche of a personality of three he always referred to himself as three in one so and you could tell that he was more than one person if you if you see the volume of work he did but in the time that i met him it's like <laughs> no doubt in my mind that there were three people in there and it's not about split personality it's just uh the way and he, he rationalized the, it he worked in the graphic art he also worked in wood and stone sculpture he was a right. renaissance man he was a songwriter he was a oh, story and a song, writer and a musician. He he was a sculptor, he was a painter, he was a musician, you name it. He did everything. He truly was very intense in the way he went through life. So, so actually, this one's before your time, the 80s. Yeah. Before he even came to St. Augustine. <coughs> Where was he originally then? He was up north. Uh, in, Somewhere uh, cold, right? Yeah, he, he was in Michigan That's first it. as a child, and then he lived in... Uh, Washington D.C. and before he moved to St. Augustine, he was in Frederick, Maryland. Maryland. Mm -hmm. That's I think where these came through. Yeah. So I think that he painted these when he was in Frederick. And like I told you, that we had the stu the studio, and we we had children, you know, the uh, the drills kids, and we wanted something that had clothes on. Mm -hmm. Most of his stuff was very erotic, and none of them had clothes on. So this was the only painting we, we could really take to our studio Understood. and hang on the wall. Understood, and it's beautiful. You know, look at the birds and everything. It's really beautiful. I love the texture of the uh -huh. feathers here. And like I said, not only the texture and them, the depth of their eyes, but into this stuff here, there's all kinds of things going on. If you look at it long enough, there's... Uh, I saw like a bull, horn, a bull head here, mm. or a buffalo head. There's just things going on <coughs> everywhere, and the tree itself. But this wasn't what he was trying to do. This was a, a mock-up for the sculpture. Mm -hmm. He said it ended up with Hugh Hefner at the Playboy Mansion. That's very possible. As, as a sculpture with the white, uh, the birds were made Probably of maple. Uh, her hair was made of the mahogany that the frame's made out of. Mm -hmm. And you can see he roughed out the frame. He didn't put a lot of effort in the frame. He just cranked it out. But uh, amazing. 
All right, we're gonna let's take a little walk around your garden. I guess we'll look at some sure. of his other stuff, huh? We can uh, take a look out. Uh, and this your stuff as well. These are. Um, this is the new style. New huh? style stuff that I'm playing with is actually for fun, and I show you how crazy it, it can get because this is what I do for fun for my own creative. For your own entertainment. Huh? For my own creative. Oh, juices. very cool. And uh, are these the ones on the website? These are on the website right yes. now. Yeah. And they're Good. about about done. And then there's these are experiments. Oh, more! Yeah. Wow! And then what I do more to kind of do the stuff that relates to to this area. This is an image of the St. John's River, and of course, it's side, it's side sideways. Yeah, sideways. It's an actual um, a image sunset, from huh? a property of a friend of ours that lives in the St. John's River. Cool. So that's an image from. From one extreme to the other. Yeah. Are these red ones, Thomas? The red ones are Thomas's. Wow. The horses are mine, of course. The upstairs, the hodgepodge of things, some are Thomas's, some are mine. All mixed together. Yeah. On the very top. Correct. What's the centerpiece? The black page is a. Um, um, chunk of uh, African Wonder Stone, and that's one of my pieces. That it was in, in New Orleans for a, a while. A very bizarre stone, huh? It's a really neat. Hard? It's a really interesting stone because you carve it, and it's very soft, and then you can actually put it in a kiln and bake it, and bake it, and it changes, and it becomes very hard, and it, it the color changes. It gets blacker like that. No, that's actually the natural that one hasn't stone been baked? that hasn't been oh. baked. Oh. So it's a very interesting stone. Uh, we loved it for that reason because you can carve it and leave it, or you can bake it and transform it. And you and the horses. And the horses, yes. Where are you from originally? Venezuela. You're from Born Venezuela. In Venezuela, but now I've been here in the United States since '92. That More than you've been in Venezuela. 25 years. No, I just yeah. a little bit under the time that I've been in Venezuela. Wow. And I've been an American citizen since '98. Yeah. Like would say. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And who's she? She is one of the three. <laughs> one of the three models. There you go. Up in them. They're very erotic. The looks on their faces and the. These were um, a couple, a pair of mermaids. They were going to be on the front of a catamaran when they were uh, commissioned. And uh, the girlfriend of the commissioner didn't want the ladies in front of the catamaran, so. They were too naked. Yeah, so he, but he was nice about it. He donated them, so. So he had paid for them. Yeah. Thomas made them on commission, and, and he gave them he, back. But he ended up doing something for the sculpture garden, and it was a donation in part on behalf of them too. So it was okay. Amazing. Now in Jacksonville, this piece. Tons, about 14 feet tall by 5 by 8. And 28 I ended up tons? Yeah. Wow. So I ended up finishing the project for him. And as a matter of fact, I have to go to Jacksonville and, and um, finish it up a little bit. Because they scratched it while they moved it. Oh, wow. So I signed that for the two of us. But like you said, his art's a little more erotic. It has. It has. Usually. Uh, like these girls. Somebody calls you, like you guys did, and come oh, here. Oh, we beg. 
Sure. <laughs> no problem. But I, it's, and this is one thing, and, and, and a discussion that I had also with my partner. It's like, I don't want people all day long knocking the door. Hey, can we come in to, that's fine, and then, but then I cannot work. It right. just doesn't work. That, it worked for some people. It doesn't work for me. I need to, to have When I had my shop on Charlotte Street, I had the workshop in the back room, but there was the retail in the front, and yeah. they come in, and they want to buy a Swiss Army knife, and it's like... I just stopped what I was doing, and now I can't go back to it because. So you understand? You yeah, understand totally that you do. know that you really need that. Yeah. And it takes a little the while to get into the, the rhythm of peace of so. mind. We call it. <laughs> yeah. The, zone, the art zone. And this is Ponce de Leon. Yeah, he's a he's a famous cat. Ponce. Ponce. Come in. Hello, Ponce. He's a sweetie. Hello, you. Not sure the camera. It's 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 the largest. Oh, that's one of yours. That's yeah. the alabaster, right? Alabaster. Well, I was going to say the rest of this is the largest Thomas Glover Museum gallery in America. Is that one of yours? Oh uh, yes. You did the welding? Yes. Yeah. I forgot you were a welder. Yep. Yeah. I tag whatever I need to tag at the moment, I mean that welding Come back or carving or gluing or whatever it takes. This is an interesting piece. Oh, like a bird bath. Yeah, like a bird bath fountain kind of thing. Yeah. Another one unfinished? That's one of mine. This is you? Correct. See, I. But Just because they're stone, uh, there's somewhere where your style and his style run together. Correct, because I was because in the press, so the exact early pieces, they all you can look tell more like him. look like right? him, and that's, that's perfectly natural. That's one of his. That's his. That's one of his. And uh, all these is his. If, there's, these. if they're having sex, it's probably one of Thomas's, right? <laughs> For the most part, though, I mean, no, things like that, but... So that was in your early career. Yeah. Now, that fish was more like a commercial thing I was trying to do to... to Does he blow water fountain. out of his nose? Yeah, it was yeah. supposed to be part of the fountain, so, yeah. Cool. So, as the time passed by, my sculptures became more contemporary. see that also in the paintings. So I'm right. trying to develop my own style that's completely separate. Which is important. Well, I've always been... Otherwise you'll look like everybody else's. Correct. Stuff. And I always strive to try to do something that's just me. And, and if it bores you, then you're not having any fun doing it, right? No. <laughs> you might as well be down on St. George Street to cranking them out. There you go. Paint by numbers. Which, there's an awful <laughs> lot. No fun in that. Two more pieces back here. This one... Not a mermaid. I thought it was. No, not a mermaid. And I haven't seen how to have you yet. I want to know. Won't you tell me? How do we find you in St. Augustine? They can go to your website? They can go to my website. My website is, you can find it either, just type in my last name, which is L-E-R-B-S-N-B-O-Y-S-S-N-Sam.com, or my full name, which is MarianneLerbs.com, which is M-A-R-I-A-N-N-E-L-E-R-B-S.com. Don't come knocking on the door. <laughs> Please call or call send me a text her. first or send me an email, yes. Look at your yard, it's beautiful. <laughs> it truly is. Huh? It's inspiration. You're on a marshal, they'll never build up behind you. That's the hope. That's the plan. Open plans. Thank you. Thank you for coming. We really haven't seen you in 700 años. <laughs> yeah. Now we got something to talk about.